Good morning, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Jack Willis Fishing, welcome back to the vlog. So, this week we are at Seymour Fishery, uh, which is quite a smallish lake to compare to what we were fishing on last time at Kokin. Um, there's only five swims, uh, four which are all occupied by uh, people we know. So, you've got Liz's dad over there. As you can see, just walking past, as you can see, doing the moonwalk. So, uh, yeah, he's on that swim. We've got my brother-in-law, um, or, yeah, sister's boyfriend, brother-in-law, I call him, um, coming up as well, and another person. So, uh, yeah, we're here for the weekend again, uh, Friday to Sunday. Um, I've got uh, two rods out at the moment, the third one getting set up and ready to go going to be a challenge this week I feel like it is very very weedy in this lake at the moment um, and um, I'm gonna aim hopefully for one fish now when you say one fish that says that's not a lot coming out of this water hearing people say one fish is a lot for this place so uh, we're gonna try uh, I'm gonna do some videos of me making up some PVA mesh bags and all that show you what some of the uh, bait I'm using because we changed up from uh, what we are using uh, coking so if you don't follow my Instagram Jack Willis fishing I do have a TikTok which I'm gonna start doing in a second so follow that Jack Willis fishing um, also, if you want to follow the vlog channel, it's Jack Willis TV, and my gaming channel, Jack Willis Gaming. So yeah, I've got a new mic on, so you should be able to hear me much better than before. So um, we will. Oh. So normally I just have this thing on. I have got a massive uh, boom mic sort of on here now, so it's a lot better audio. But yeah, this is our fish. So this is my little swim down here. So. I just you know, got my rods on my right. I finally got a seat this time. Um, Bivy is all set up. Thank you to Liz's dad for helping me, which is much appreciated. Um, so we've got a little bit here, lily pads at the back, and here, round here, and round here. So we've got quite a big swim for where we are. Um, I've got one rod. I don't know whether you can see on here. It might be pointing all the way in between the middle of those lily pads um, as it's flat ground for the nice plop. Uh, out in the middle, got one uh, zig out there as well. Uh, and I'm just getting a third one set up to go over there. But I think we might see what we want to do. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you later on and I'll let you know what's happening. I'll keep you on point like I said I'm gonna do some um, bag making soon uh, and show you how to do that show you some of my setup um, and yeah we'll just get this fishing uh, weekend off and see what we can catch so hope you enjoy it stay tuned okay here we go a little bit of bait preparation for Jack Wills fishing off to see more fishery in a couple of days, good old trusty cell, chops and hats, some glute with a good old stick mix around, and uh, that's about it. Here's the old quarter cutter, chopping them a half into the bucket from the pot. Lovely, thank you very much. I'm going to also do the same with uh, the link, which is there. The old bait soak, sick mix liquid. There we go. Oh, finished product. Stick and bag liquid. Old stick and bag mix. And the link. 15, what, 14 mil? 15 mil boilies. Dust it up. But outside dry out. Job's done. Well, here we go. This is the uh, cell uh, plug boilies with the uh, bag and stick mix just in. I give it a good old squirt of the old stick mix liquid. Now going on with a good old 
stick and bag mix. Kind of give it a bit of dusting in there, as you can see, more sticky sticky. Just a couple of helpings. You're gonna get more coating. them do it on their making their boy disc. But, uh, you know, they give their ideas away. Fair play to them. It's bait work. So to sell. One of those baits you can take anywhere. It's a catch. And the last dusting. Then set them out to dry. Coating of cell bag and stick mix. Lovely. And here we go. Sun's on them, drying them out. Give them a half an hour. All dry together. There we go. Hello there, so starting off with the first bag, so we've got some PVA mesh which is this stuff and the tube poker thing I want to call it, that's what I call it, so we've got some link cell, uh, link um, hybrid stuff, whatever it's called, I'm very new to fishing so I am probably getting that wrong completely, so uh Bear with, bear with. Right. I'm probably doing this absolutely wrong. Right, so we need to get some of this fish bait, which is here. And we need to make a bag. So. So this is how I make my PVA bag. I am probably fucking it up completely, which I think I am. Alright. Oh bollocks. This is my first proper like time making my own PVA bag so I'm probably taking off so much that I right so you give it a couple of twists
Yeah, give it a couple of twists, stick that there. Hook it round. And I am doing this absolutely wrong. I know I am. Right, after that butcher attempt, I feel like I have completed it. You can see it just hanging in there like that. I'm gonna get Liz's dad to look over it. I know it's gonna be completely wrong because I had a nightmare with that. Uh, I think I'm better off with uh, PVA bags and mesh. That was a bloody nightmare. So uh, yeah, we'll see how bad it is with the rating from Liz's dad in a minute. So yeah, just nearly had a bite, just had one bite. Uh, just got there a bit too late and the fish has decided to piss off. So yeah, just sat here and relaxing. So I'm the first one to have uh, a number of bites. Now that freaking duck's just landed there and scared all the fish away. I'm not gonna get any more. So yeah, I've just re-baited my, not baited, re-positioned um, my rod. So I brought them all in, had Liz's dad's help. So that's good. Be making some PVA bags, not the best at it but I've got 48 hours to improve. Uh, I've poured myself a nice um, Lucasade Alert Energy Drink with special juice in it. And when I say special juice, I mean Smirnoff vodka. So that'll be nice. Uh, as we are here for 48 hours, I will be not driving anywhere for the next 48 hours. So I can have a, a bit of drink. Um, so yeah, just uh, sat here, just relaxing. Uh, Liz's dad is in that swim over there. We've got one of his mates there and then we've got Kyle at the top of the lake um, and all that. So I'm the first one to get set up. Liz's dad helped me, which was really nice. So uh, yeah, why has this gone a bit wonky for? This microphone's gone a bit weird, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's working pretty well. You shouldn't get too much wind noise as well because it's got a massive wind muff on it. So uh, yeah, we're just waiting um, for the first fish. Hopefully not too long. So it's time to make one of the famous uh, Ridge Monkey cheese and ham toasties. So I've just got that going at the moment. So uh, give it a couple of minutes on one side and flip it over. That's the good thing with these ridge monkeys is you can click it on either side without actually having to take it out and flip it over. So it's better. So I've got it on my gas stove, what I got from Go Outdoors. Uh, and I'm just gonna have some lunch. Had my nice cheese and ham toasty. Get out of there, spider. Really nice. So uh, all ready for the afternoon session now, uh, all fooded up ready to go um having a little bit of bites on the rods uh but not much yet it's gonna be extremely hard here very very weedy so uh literally just fishing we had the drone up i've bought my drone today uh because it's private land and we can fly it here there's no flight path or anything like that so we had the drone up looking over the lake and there is no clear spots at all it is just cast and hope for what you get we found a uh, clear spot down here um well not clear spot but where no weeds are so i've whacked one of the um things out there hoping to get a bite um but yeah at the moment the fish is showing but not biting so all we can do now is uh wait until hopefully um one of them decides to get a bit hungry and hoovers up my bait and um, we end up having a fight with a fish and landing my first fish at Seymour Fishery. Little update, so I've decided to change some of my fishing tactics because I haven't caught any fish yet. So I've been walking around like a part of my swim behind me around here and saw a massive, well not a massive, I saw a carp, a couple of carp 
just in front of these lily pads here. So what I've done is I've reeled in one of the rods um, and I'm not sure if, sorry about the crunking of noise. So this rod on the right is pointing all the way out there. I've just chucked some bait out there as well. I'm thinking of redoing my middle rod, chucking that out there as well, um, out there. So yeah, I'm just sorting out my um, fishing spot. Little update on the fishing. So two outer rods, nothing really happening with them. Middle rod though is um, getting the odd one or two nibbles on it so hopefully that'll be our rod for this weekend that we focus on and uh, catch a fish like I said when I started it's going to be hard and it's proven to be hard this lake so we might end up on the weekend with no fish but sometimes that's how it goes so we will see might get some bites in the night you never know like what happened before with the catfish we will well there's no catfish in here but like before at three o'clock in the morning it all went mad so um yeah we're just uh relaxing i enjoyed my sandwich for lunch had a little vodka and energy drink um and yeah we're just relaxing uh just relaxing and relaxing i don't know what to, i might have a steak for dinner tonight or steak but uh yeah just been sitting with liz's dad for a bit um yeah really enjoying it at the moment uh it's nice and peaceful down here there's only four uh, all of us are all taken up the lake so no one else has come in so we've got it all to ourselves so hopefully uh the fish are kind to us and let us have one so it's a lot uh later in the evening now you could probably see the suntan on my head so uh, Lizzie has just gone Lizzie came up with uh, Andy's family from Scotland which was a little bit of a surprise uh, so I've had my steak I've had that done um, and I'm just on to my like supper part-time snack which is a pot noodle which will probably do me for the rest of the night um, so yeah like I said very hard lake to fish at uh, not many bites or whatever um, that has happened so we haven't had much action um, so yeah I've just packed the well I've, I've made the bivvy uh, as you can see behind me my light um, more friendlier for evening fishing so I've got a clear entrance out there um, bear in mind those scissors and all that I will move them in a minute um, and everything packed neatly my uh, electronics box uh, ready and charging which is really good because my charger is plugged into my bed which uh, has a outlet for a power bank so that power bank is there charging that once my Apple watch is charged a bit um, I will put that um, then onto my phone but at the moment uh, my phone doesn't need charging yet so that should be fine I've got a head torch that Andy's given me which is good um, which is a spare and I've got one already um, so yeah we're just gonna get ready for the evening and night because it is I looked at my watch that I didn't realize it was about it's 10 o'clock at night actually which is wow it's 10 o'clock at night didn't even realise that time. So time flies when we're having fun. So uh, yeah, Lizzie's gonna get home, <coughs> home about half ten. So that'd be good. So um, yeah, oh my god, I've caught the sun a lot today, haven't I? Jeez, right. Um, yeah, gonna have a bit of snack and a bit of dinner. Right. So it must be early in the morning, which is my time because I've just caught a fish, first one. So here we go. We've done it. We've broken the lake. And here's the fish. <clears throat> First fish of the session. Oh. Um, it's 13 pound 
at the moment. So it's a nice leather cart, which is quite good. Early in the morning must be my session because that went off at three o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Beauty. Day two of fishing, starting off this morning with a catch, uh, as you saw in the last couple of clips. Uh, got some good uh, footage of that. Uh, brought that one in all on my own. Uh, and everything like that so that's really good so i rebaited it got it out again same spot roughly and all that other two rods no action whatsoever oh bit of acid reflux um yeah no action whatsoever um we might reset them in a little while and see what we can do with them uh bag them up and chuck them back out and see what we can get. Rods are all rebated and um, out now, so they'll be set for the day. Uh, a fish has just jumped right next to my hook, uh, so that's good. Um, so yeah, uh, just got on the go some sausages and I do some fried eggs for my breakfast. Uh, two seconds, I might have a fish on. Come on. Hello vlog, so a little bit of an update haven't caught anything since this morning since my first fish so I've just rebaited my rods and got them out roughly in the same place as last time because I've put some bait down there um, so yeah we're just uh, I've had some lunch uh, butchered two bloody um, cheese and ham toasties and burnt them to anything uh, so yeah got uh, some I had some uh, spam uh, grilled so that was really nice actually got pot noodle for tonight and then I've got sausage and eggs for tomorrow morning's breakfast uh, before we head off uh, but yeah we had a little sleep in the afternoon uh, but yeah just uh, hopefully these uh, rods will be out now until about 10 o'clock at night when I decide to change them for a uh, new set uh, throughout the night so yeah, got another good six hours with these ones out. So hopefully we might get a couple of nibbles, maybe a, hopefully a bite again. But I think it's going to be early morning in the evening time when they are more active. I think that's when I caught my last fish at three o'clock, I think I want to say. Yeah, three o'clock, I think. Or four o'clock, I think it was. I caught it at four. Yeah, so hopefully we might catch another one uh, I'm not really bothered about the weight of it I just want to try and catch another one um, I've got one which is pretty good for this lake anyway because people spend like weeks here and don't even catch anything so getting one fish out of this lake is good and with how weedy it is at the moment it is like you've got to find your spots like I've got a spot in the lily pads just out there right which is no joke probably the size of a four piece of paper so i have to hit that good all the time so yeah we'll see what we can do i'll let you know if we catch any more fish update no more fish or anything like that not even a blip so um we are still holding at one uh andy and kyle haven't well they've caught roach so they have caught fish but no carp i'm the only one who's caught carp which is pretty good so i've just had some uh dinner had a pot noodle dinner relax for a bit now watch a bit of youtube ca catch up on some vlogs um turn down the swim for evening fishing so i've got a clear run out the door as we can see at the moment I've got my cooker down there just cooling off I've got my chair there which i'll put behind there so when i run out i don't uh trip over or anything like that clear this out so i've got no trip hazards and i should be all right if i get a fish in the night probably just before about half 10 11 o'clock at night i might just rebait and re uh position the rods again because uh, it is half eight now 
time flies. Literally just uh, this afternoon, just sat down, had a little cat nap. It was one o'clock um, when I got up. Uh, and then just sit here, I've done a bit of fishing and all that. So yeah, it's going well. This is quite a nice uh, 48 hours, been good. Uh, like I said, it's a hard fishery to fish at and to get one fish out of it is pretty good. So we've done well. If we don't catch any more, I'm happy. I said to Andy when we were coming here, I said, I'm happy if I catch one fish um, and all that. Some people come here, like I said before, don't catch anything. So uh, one fish is good. Um, hopefully in the next, we're probably going on my honeymoon soon. So it won't be fishing now for about a month or a month and a half or so. Um, and hopefully, we might hit up Lineard in Oxfordshire, um, which is another good fishing place as well. So hopefully we will uh, go there soon, probably August time maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna relax for a bit. I'll let you know if we get a fish. Hello, so it's the last time, uh, last couple of hours of the fishing trip we've done uh, so I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed it like I said I'm just getting into vlog um, not into vlogging into fishing so um, I'm not the best fisher person fisherman um, so I haven't given you very many good tips or anything like that because I'm just starting out so I'm just getting ready to pack up the bivy uh, ready for when we're finished and all that last things to pack up are the rods um, and that'll be that um, but yeah it's been really good caught one fish which was really good uh, so yeah if you liked it make sure you like and comment um, hopefully be going fishing again in the next couple of months or so uh, so we'll be vlogging that um, so yeah I'll go and edit this now and uh, get this all sorted so yeah if you liked it subscribe click the notification bell and I'll see you again soon for another Jack Willis fishing goodbye <laughs>